done the report on Indian reform with anxiety and I've read it with mixed feelings. It sets forth a plan which is not a ready-made imitation of any other constitution or of the British model, but it reproduces and reflects the facts of Indian life, the many-sidedness of India. It will be a federation representing India as she has grown as a historic entity with all its many-sided variety, with its princes, with its provinces, with its differences, and yet with its essential unit. This will be an India which will be true to facts of its life. With this appointment, because I had hoped that the case so strongly urged by myself and my fellow Indian delegates in our joint memorandum might have met with a more generous response. Here is a scheme born in the East of ideas brought in perhaps by you, hammered out by East and West in long conference. You may call it a compromise if you like. Those who know the success of Great Britain and who believe, as I do, that her historic success is due to common sense and compromise will regard this as a virtue on the whole. The great thing is that this plan has the essentials on which we all agreed at the round table conference and that those essentials have not been touched upon. And if it is in to put into operation, it will, I'm sure, work and find people to work it. 